Hi Cantor, welcome to my channel. This is Angel with Angel Spiritual Messages and this is going to be how the third party feels about your person. Um, if you are involved with someone who you believe is dealing with a third party, whether you're connected with this person in a relationship or marriage, or you're separated and you feel that this person is dealing with a third party, I wanna look at how this person feels about the third party, how the third party feels about your person and how your person feels about you. This is going to be a very detailed reading and I'm just going to let you guys know as a trigger warning, sometimes these readings can get intense and if that is not what you are wanting to hear, then I would say go ahead and exit this video now um, because I am going to read as the divine gives me the information um, to give to you guys. Also, I'm gonna get a message from Spirit once we go through the tarot. Um, on how you should handle and maneuver through this situation, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Please reverse the roles as need be. And just remember, these readings can get very, very confusing because we're dealing with three different energies, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and get started. And I will always use the decks that Spirit um, actually ask of me to use. And Spirit is asking me that I start out with the Love Oracles. And we're going to go ahead and get started. Spirit, if you would, for the sign of Cancer, show me what is going on um, with this connection with Cancer and this third party or Cancer's person and this third party. Look at that on the split between the lines and player. So there is definitely some plan going on in this situation and someone is in between the lines, which means that they feel that they are riding in two separate lanes uh, that eventually are going to collide. And I think that is with regard to you and this third party. This person has not made a decision um as of yet so let's see if we can get more information show me what do we have for cancer's person and the third party show me that situation spirit show me the situation between cancer's person and the third party guys i'm going to tell you reverse the roles like i said if it's not your reading then it's just not your reading some all or none of it may apply to you um like the video if you enjoy it and subscribe i would love to have you as a supporter but i will also tell you that um a lot of times these situations are, are tough and as i stated and i'm just going to give you what i have show me single alone isolated lonely and guarded so it looks like your person is dealing with someone who is actually single um this person is lonely they're isolated they stay to themselves um this third party is someone who wants a relationship they're looking for something that's solid stable and grounded um i am inclined to say that this third party does not know that you exist okay this is someone who is just genuinely looking for um, someone to share their life with relationship yeah this third party definitely wanted a relationship with your person this is what um, they have always wanted a commitment um, a partnership this is someone who's ready to build a family someone who wants to be in a solid committed relationship this is something what spirit is saying this person has been dreaming of for quite some time show me one more on the third party and how they feel about cancerous person legal matters so they feel that there's some legal matters going on in their lives um, that is kind of taking a toll on their situation with your person i'm not sure if this person is um, going through a divorce it says that they're single so they may have gone through some type of legal separation and they're trying to figure out do i want to stay single um, or do i want this relationship but what i'm feeling very deeply is that this is a person who is built for relationships okay this third party um, is not someone who is just this fly-by-night individual who's looking for someone um, just to kind of hit it and quit it this is someone who is truly invested in wanting something serious. Now, let me look at your person with regard to this third party. Spirit, show me. Show me what Cancer's person's situation is with regard to this third party. 
between the lines, it popped out again. So it is definitely um, being emphasized by spirit that between the lines is where your person is. There's um, hidden meanings in this situation to um, your person. It's vague. Um, things are not clear, um, meaning they have no idea um, where this situation is going to go. Um, but they are hopeful um, that, you know, they will figure it out, whether it's with this third party or it's with you or it's by themselves. This person feels whatever is going to happen is going to happen. Show me more. Hook up. So one night stands. Your person came in with the motive of hooking up with this person, having a one night stand, um, just indulging in intimacy and casual relationships and flings. Doesn't look like your person was one that was set on trying to build anything solid, long lasting um, with this third party, but they did find a funness and a likeness to this person. Show me more. Uh, romantic feelings. So this person is starting to fall for this person. So what <laughs> happened with this is this person being your person met this third party, thought it was going to be a casual hookup with this person, just having fun, no big deal. There's no issues. And they started to develop romantic feelings. That is why they're in between the lines on this connection because they don't know if they in fact want to pursue something serious with this person or if this just needs to continue to be um, this above the surface type of situation, okay? Um, and then at the bottom of the deck, I have third party. So that is definitely um, the case um, with your person. There is a third party that's involved. Now, I want to see how does your person cancer feel about you with regard to this situation? Show me messages for cancer and how cancer person feels about cancer with regard to this entire situation. Reconciliation. See, they're between the lines. This person doesn't know if they want to reconcile with you or if they want to stay in a hookup type of situation with this person that they're developing feelings for, or if they want a relationship with this person. Well, we know the third party definitely wants a relationship, but this person is definitely contemplating all of these things in their head. They're thinking about possibly reunion with you or a second chance or getting back together because they basically say that they miss you. Um, this person is wanting to travel towards you or with you um, to try to see exactly where you guys are. They feel that there's a distance between you guys, either mentally or physically, or even both, that is keeping you guys apart. Um, so this person may want to take you on a trip to try to reestablish this situation to get a feel of where you guys are so that they can make a solid sound decision. But let me tell you something about that. I got a problem with a person actually coming back to try to gauge the pulse of a situation before they end something else. This person needs to end this situation with this third party, come back and deal with you with a clean slate and judge you based on your interactions with them and not on whether or not this third party is going to work out or if you're going to work out because if you don't work out, then they're going to stick with the third party. And if the third party doesn't work out, they're going to stick with you. And that's just not fair. Show me more. And then we're going to get into the tarot. Magnetic attraction. This person feels like you're their person. Uh, you're alluring. Um, there is an irresistibility about you um, that this person feels and they know it. Um, and they have a draw to you that they don't feel with this third party. Although they have romantic feelings for this third party, this magnetic attraction is one that you can't shake. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, I have surrender. So spirit is saying that this situation needs to be surrendered. Okay. Because you're going to have to let go of this situation and release it, give it up and be patient 
and let the divine come in and do what they need to do in order to try to set this thing back into balance. But the only thing about it is because we all have free will, it is going to be up to the person that you're connected with cancer on whether or not this is going to be successful. Okay. Um, because they have to be willing to look at this from a spiritual aspect versus just a lustful, um, selfish um, type of aspect. So let me get a little bit more on this spirit. If you would please show me how does cancer's person feel about this third party? We know the situation. Now let's see how they feel about it. How do they feel about this situation um, with cancer's person? How do they feel in their hearts? How do they feel about cancer's person? Look at this. I'm going to take them. All right. So I have the seven of cups in reverse. I have the queen of cups in reverse. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. The seven, I mean, excuse me, the king of swords in reverse and the seven of wands in reverse. So basically what this is telling me is this person is saying they've made their decision that they don't want to pursue any other options. They do have love for your person, but they want to, you know, be firm and, and make a logical decision regarding this. And they're wanting to release the boundaries or that they've set towards your person. They've been blocking your person and keeping them at arm's distance. Um, but with this being said, they feel like they've lost the initial love that they've had for this person and that your person is not um, being one that is honest and truthful with them. So this person feels like, you know, we had something good in the beginning. I feel there's something um, in this connection that's keeping us stagnant and I don't know what it is. And that's what this person is pretty much saying. They want to let down their guards and be vulnerable with your person, um, but they're not sure how that's going to work. Um, show me how Cancer's person feels about the third party. Show me how Cancer's person feels about the third party spirit. The five of pentacles in reverse, the five of swords in reverse, the strength in reverse, and the eight of pentacles. Um, so basically what I'm having here is this person is having a difficult time <laughs> making a decision. Um, the five of uh, pinnacles in reverse, the five of swords in reverse says that this person is no longer in a state of confusion, but they're also not strong enough to say, yes, I'm willing to work on this connection and make this something solid. Although they want to work on it with the Ace of Pentacles in the upright, the strength card says that they are still um, teeter-tottering back and forth on whether or not they have enough courage to do so because they don't know where you stand in this situation. So show me how Cancer's person feels about Cancer. How does Cancer's person feel about Cancer? Show me how Cancer's person feels about Cancer. They're definitely conflicted over here with this third party. Definitely con some confliction here. Show me. The Eight of Swords in reverse. The Four of Pentacles in reverse. The Knight of Cups in reverse. And the Two of Wands in reverse. So what it's looking like when it comes to this situation. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'll stick this over here. What it looks like with regard to this situation is this person is saying with the eight of swords in reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy, the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the knight of cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the two of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is all the elements on the board here on how they feel about the situation with you. What they're feeling is that I'm no longer going to continue to be stuck on this situation. I'm releasing this situation with the four of pentacles. I'm not going to go and try to make amends with this situation. And as a matter of fact, I am in contemplation with this two of wands in reverse. If that is even 
a direction that I want to go in. They understand the ma magnitude, excuse me, the magnetic attraction and the magnitude of this relationship. But I think this person feels like you guys may be at a point of no return. What I am feeling very deeply is some of you guys found out about this third party. Some of you guys found out that your person had a separate um, additional cell phone or means of communication. Some of you guys may have found text messages or emails is what Spirit is telling me and it shattered your perspective of this person. And this person knows it and now they are um, at a point to where they're afraid to even come in and have this conversation with you because they feel like even though there's this magnetic attraction and even though I want to reconcile and even though I would love to travel with cancer, I don't think cancer is going to be willing to do any of that stuff for me and to save face. I don't even want to go back in that direction. Okay. Um, give me spirit is saying I need to get, uh, let me get some messages for you. Um, cancer with regard to this situation. Show me what spirit has to say to cancer with regard to this situation. You could use some self care, take time like now, schedule it. Spirit is saying that you are having some difficulties in this situation and you need to use this time wisely while you are apart from this person. Even if you live in the same household to start using self-care about yourself. Spirit is saying some of you guys have let yourself go because you have been so stressed out with this connection that it is time for you to start focusing on you. Um, and Spirit is saying that you have put a lot of energy into this connection and wanting it to work and wanting to make it right because it was a magnetic um, attraction. But Spirit is saying you put way too much emphasis into this relationship and now it's time that you focus on yourself. Also, look around and find some signs the universe is speaking to you. So Spirit is saying they're letting you know what you need to do in synchronicities, in dream states, in meditation states. Spirit is saying if you pay close attention to your intuition, you know exactly what you need to do um, with regard to this connection. Also, um, what has your inner voice been asking you? Listen and act. Spirit says you already know. Spirit says you already know exactly what you should be doing at this time. Someone, if in need of your love, someone is in need of your love, offer it to them. And this is you. This is you that's in need of your love. This is not that person. This is you that is definitely in need of the love that you have for yourself. Um, give me, let me see, give me more messages um, regarding this situation with the third party regarding um, cancerous person. Show me more. Independent, does their own thing. Don't tell them what to do not the marrying type. So this person um, feels, the third party feels that your person is too independent, that they're the type um, that will not settle down. I don't know if you know this about your person, but the third party definitely feels that way, that your person is one that is what we call a free spirit, someone who wants to get out, have a really good time with no ties and with no responsibilities. Um, I also have over here with how this person feels about their third party. I have passion, intense attraction, hot and heavy at first, mostly about sex. So yeah, your person didn't have any intentions on being with this person until they started um, having some feelings for them. And now your person is completely conflicted on this situation and how they need to go about it. Show me for the sign of cancer, how this cancer's person feel about cancer? Show me, show me more. Thinking a lot, 
wants the same things, gets along great, can be a lasting love. This person knows that this situation with you can be a lasting love, but they've messed up so royally um, that they don't want to, they don't have the courage. This person is, I, I hate to use this word, a coward, um, because they know that they caused this discord in this situation. And because they caused this discord in this situation, they're afraid to come back in your presence to try to make it right. Even when they know that the connection with you is one um, that is unmatched. This third party does not hold a candle to the connection that you and your person has. Show me more. What messages does Cancer's person have for this third party? I wondered how far this would go. So your person wondered how far this situation with this third party could go. Leaving you hurt me too. So it looks like your person may have ended the situation with this third party. And that's why this single card is here because your person, while they really, really were attracted to this person, they felt like it wasn't um, the right decision for them. Also, we are not right for each other. Exactly. This person feels like the, this third party is just not right for them. Show me how the third party feels about cancer's person. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. How does the third party feel about cancer's person? I never want to feel that way again. <coughs> Excuse me. My throat got really dry. Someone is avoiding talking. Because when I pulled on your person, my throat just got extremely scratchy. I never want to feel that way again. So basically, there is um, definitely um, some regret here from your person. Um, your person did hurt this third party. They know that they did. And um, this third party is basically saying, I never want to feel that way again, the way that you treated me. Um, probably when your person walked away from them. I don't really know you. Exactly. Um, your person kept this situation very surface level um, with this third party. So this third party doesn't even feel like they know um, your person at all. Show me more about how the third party feels about your person. I know we have a soul connection. So this person feels like um, this romantic feelings is a soul connection when it in fact is not. Um, it is just a very strong um, romantic feeling. What you have with your person is a soul connection um, because you have the... Um, reconciliation card as well as the ma magnetic attraction card so um, what you have is a soul connection they only have just really strong feelings show me um, what messages look at that came out for cancer to cancer's person to cancer um, you can't come with me this person feels like they have to heal some toxic ways about themselves and they feel like they may have to go out on their own in order to do that. And I think that is why they're rejecting this third party. And I think that is more so why they're not willing um, and ready to come towards you. Because they know they have some things inside of themselves that they have to heal. They are actually why this surrender card is here. Because they're the ones who is actually going to surrender to the divine and allow the divine to help them. This person that you're dealing with, uh, Cancer, is about to embark on a dark night of the soul. And that's going to be a very tough spiritual lesson and growth. And it, it will take a while. So if you want to wait on this person, then by all means, you can do that. If not, I can guarantee you that spirit has someone new coming in for you that's going to uh, make up the difference and be better than what you had before. Also, um, you did not break me. This person felt like you were attempting to break them because you either left them and told them, look, I'm not coming back. And they thought you did it maliciously to hurt them, but you only did it 
to um, make sure that you are protecting you. And that's that unhealed side of your person that they don't understand that a person does these things to protect themselves, not to hurt another person. Also, I don't need your approval is what this person is saying. So this person feels like for some reason, every time you try to get them to do right, when you saw them leading astray or going in the wrong direction, that you were trying to control them. And that's not what this situation was. This was you being a partner, being a team player, and trying to render aid to the person that you loved. And that's that unhealed side of this person to where they don't understand that, okay? At the bottom of the deck, I love myself enough to walk away is what this person is saying. And I believe they should. They should love themselves enough to walk away so that they can go on this spiritual journey and embark on the growth and the evolution um, that the divine has for them. Let me get a few messages for you, Cancer, from Spirit on your journey and this situation. Awe and wonder. Don't take anything for granted. There are many amazing things to come. So Spirit is saying, don't get down on this situation because when one door closes, another one definitely opens. And if you think about it, every time you lose, you've lost something in your life, you've always obtained something so much better. So just hang tight. Also, um, making magic. Whatever you touch turns to gold. That's that Midas touch. And you manifest like the powerhouse you truly are. Spirit has said, if you manifest at this person, it's time for you to get back into your manifestation powers. And when you do manifest from a place of peace, love, calm, and happiness, so that you bring in nothing but that. Do not manifest from a place of anger, resentment, hurt, pain, or lack. Because if you do, you're going to have a repeated cycle of someone just like this in a totally different body coming your way. Use your intuition and your gut when you meet someone. If it doesn't feel right, then I can guarantee you 100% it's not right. And it's okay to turn down someone who's interested in you, especially if you're on a spiritual journey and you're looking for your forever person, your soulmate. Turn them down and keep pushing because greater things are on the way for you. Enchanted at the bottom of the deck. Your path has led you to a divine, excuse me, your path has led you to a defining moment that you will change your destiny. And it is going to change your destiny. This entire situation has changed your destiny. It has changed how you see things. It has changed how you will behave in the future in relationships. It has changed how you look at people. You're not going to be so forthcoming and so forth giving and over investing in situations going forward. You're going to be focused on you and what you need and put the needs of others um, to the side until your needs are met. Cancer, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you're looking for a personal reading, I have um, availability in the description box below. Um, please um, book before I get booked up. I am halfway through um, the end of the month. So uh, take advantage of that. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you like this message. And I would love to hear from you guys. Please leave me messages in the comments. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.